are in the center of Finland in a place called Revontuli Resort. And with me is uh, Tia Valkamo, the owner of this resort. Hello. Can you tell us where exactly we are and who you are? Well, hello and welcome to central Finland. Thank you. Yeah, we are in Hangasalmi city in Lakeland area, central Finland, mm -hmm. and in Revontuli Resort. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, orientation is this is um, Helsinki is now this direction three hours three and a half hours about three hours three, yeah three three and a half hours yes. not too far and we are in Lake and that means like we are directly beside the lake this is your resort people have vacation here people do sport here mm -hmm. uh, tell us exactly why. Uh, Revontuli is the Finnish word for northern lights, for mm -hmm. aurora borealis, for uh, for Nordlichter. And uh, why is this resort called Revontuli? Yeah, uh, many people wonder what, how, why we are Revontuli northern lights. It means northern lights because we are not in Lapland, we are in central Finland. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually, Hanka Salmi is known uh, from the research of northern lights. Mm -hmm. And this has been a significant place for the research of international research of Northern Lights since 1975. Mm -hmm. And we have this uh, research station where, from where we send uh, signals to the space. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, we are in the right spot that the signals come back to our station so we get, we get the the information needed there. And this is the Finnish uh, Meteorological Institution mm -hmm. yes, that owns the station and do that research. That's not the only thing what we do. We, we have this research on, in, on the Northern Lights, but also we have this uh, observatory here. Mm -hmm. It's a different place, close to us also. And at the observatory, uh, we have this old sky camera and mm -hmm. we will have all the time camera if we have the northern lights. Mm -hmm. And the northern lights, the, the other thing that we have this camera and the research is that we have been made this research like more than 45 years ago, that this is the darkest place of the southern area of Finland. This Central. place here? This is... place. This is the darkest place. <laughs> that sounds really dark. Yeah, I know. That means there is, <laughs> there is no light pollution like in a city. Yeah, there is no light pollution here, but also, even though we don't have the light pollution anywhere, this is the dark place. Yeah, okay. So, and that's the reason why you can actually see the northern lights here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because of the darkness, so you can see the northern lights here. Mm -hmm. And so, I was telling about the observatory. Yes. That because of the darkness, uh, the, in the observatory, they have this old sky camera mm -hmm. where you can see the, the northern lights they are. I mean, all the time from the camera. And also now, this is started like a year or two years ago, they study about do the Northern Lights make sound? Okay. They, there is, there, this mystery has been like forever. Yes. In the old times, people thought that those who hear the sound of the Northern Lights are mm -hmm. a little bit <laughs> crazy people. But now we have this proof that they yes. might really uh -huh. make noise some sounds, the Northern Lights. And now we have this uh, resort, we have this uh, uh, microphone. microphones there and we yes. see. And that's interesting because I don't know how much information we already have, but we're getting more and more to make the proof that if they make, they really make sounds. Yes. So this, as I understand, is also a place for for Aurora hunters in the world to, to go to Hanka Sami once because that's a, a global place, one of the few points where where these scientific centers are located. Yeah, the, the observatory is the one place. Yes. And also if you know no you want to know about the scientific about the northern lights. And it's it's important to have the research of the northern lights because nowadays it's important because they disturb the uh, mobile phones and, and mm. planes and so on. So it's also okay. That's yes. that's the reason for the research, also. Very important, yes. Um, but nevertheless, uh, for for a blind guy to see northern lights, it's 
Lapland is known for that. Uh, it starts now in August. But you have non lights here too. In, in yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it starts in the end of August, mm -hmm. September, and it lasts till March. Mm -hmm. And if it's a good weather, no clouds. Uh, in the best years, we have northern lights every fourth night. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we should be in a place like that. Where we're sitting actually right now is we're sitting in a sauna. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's an EU sauna and glass. And uh, I imagine sweating here and looking out on the sky and there's normal lights. Uh, and then maybe going home to uh, on the other side of the little green path here and, and stay in one of uh, your glass roof pots mm. and apartments. We can show them here. So you started with with those you discovered people who like that and you started um, building your resort and adding those places how how did you come to that idea uh, actually the the glass igloos have been here like for three four years yes and we started that with the we want more international customers here yes and, they love. and yeah they love it and then first we realized that we said the whole nature and this clean water and and all this is very important and also the saunas mm -hmm. and then we had this idea that it wouldn't be nice to have this uh, mm -hmm. classic loose uh, glass huts mm -hmm. and so you can see the sky this clean sky and, yes. and also it's it's nice the whole year round it's not only the summer or only the mm -hmm. winter because the scene is every day beautiful mm -hmm. Mm. Well, this is this is a place which your family, your father, bought many years ago. Tell us how long have you been? How has this place of Earth been in your family? Yeah. Well, my my dad bought this in 1993, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a whole different place then. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we've been developing and doing all those new things for 27 years now. And it's been a long time. <laughs> it started when you said that it, like a, it was a motor before. Yeah, and it, it, it had been in bankruptcy when we bought it. And there was only this motor and a small restaurant when mm -hmm. we started. And then uh, in 1997, when I graduated, I made this decision that, okay, now I know what, what my, my, my dad had the vision all the time. Mm -hmm. That it's a great place because of the lake and that. Uh, the road, the road is easy to come here, mm -hmm. and all this. But I wasn't so sure at the beginning. But in 1997, I I realized that the vision, yeah. and then we started to do this together, and we started to build first the dance hall for mm -hmm. the for the Finnish customers to have live music nights, mm -hmm. and that was a success and still is, <laughs> as a traditional Finnish live music dance mm -hmm. in our in our restaurant, and we have made more and more. Uh, re rest build that our restaurant is now for thousand people because only a small small one in the beginning. Yeah. So that that has that, that has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. And then we made all these cottages, mm -hmm. and now we have twenty uh, bigger cottages. And mm -hmm. then then we have the golf course. We built the golf course sixteen years ago. See, the golf course is on your land, um, yeah. and uh, this is nine holes or eight holes? Eighteen holes. Eighteen, 18 holes. holes, yeah. And it's, it's close, you can walk from every every accommodation to the golf course, so you don't need a car here. Yes. You can walk. Yes, I see people driving with the golf carts to the yeah, cottage. To the cottage. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. It's a really golf yeah. resort. Yeah. yeah. And 70 years ago, we had those the bowling alleys and mm -hmm. another restaurant. and. And then three, four years ago, with these glass igloos. And mm -hmm. also, of course, the sauna works. The saunas has been from the beginning, it's mm -hmm. important, but we have made more saunas and more uh, sauna worlds here. Mm -hmm. And now we have seven different saunas by the lake here. And uh, many kinds of, we have a smoke sauna, tent sauna, igloo sauna, where we're now. And the newest one now, now the corona is the, so the Finnish people can go abroad. They can come to our Laguna Beach, which, which is here. Yes, you have <laughs> you have a Laguna Beach, and like uh, 
this is with a lot of details. Yeah. So it, it, it resembles some some beaches of the world. Yeah, yeah. How you can imagine yourself at the some some place in the yeah. You can go now from Finland, so we have two uh, two uh, saunas here, and also the igloo sauna and the jacuzzis. Yes, the beach is really. It looks and it has the signs, and it has um, the Baywatch. Um, Baywatch <laughs> resembles, and of course, everywhere is a boot where you can heat the sauna with. And there's uh, signs to to Portugal, uh, Caparica, or there is a bar. There's a, a hot, like it's a good feeling. You, know, you, you really feel like a yeah. Finnish people can feel abroad. We had a nice summer. It was warm summer, and it was like you had been abroad. Yeah. But now, now it's getting getting a little bit colder. And now we can guarantee that this is the coolest beach in the world. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the coolest beach in the world. I can sign that for sure. We are in the middle of this. How do you call this? There are seven different, or how many different sauna? Yeah, seven different. This is our sauna tray, sauna and we tray. have also those products that like, you can you can buy that trip to the sauna tray. Okay. And then we have a sauna guide, and then you can experience all kinds of different Finnish saunas, starting from the smoke sauna. Mm -hmm. There we will tell about the history of the sauna. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the smoke sauna was the first sauna, and then then. then and then we will have some uh, sauna spells and stories with the guide. And then you uh, keep on going to another sauna, then it's tent sauna. Mm -hmm. And it, it's about like a healthy sauna. So yeah. we have some some baths and herbs. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so on. And then, then you go to the spell sauna. And then there are tagusi and swimming. And during the winter time, the snow angels and ice dipping. Yeah. And then also we can have these treatments, sauna treatments, at the at the spell sauna. And now we have also this uh, Laguna Beach with the igloo sauna, just to experience more saunas. Yes. So this igloo sauna, this this holds. I'm sitting basically almost on the sauna yeah. oven here. Uh, Thank God, it's not warm. It's, <laughs> it's quite okay right now, and uh, I can not sweat. But it's eight people or. Something like uh, about um, eight, 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 eight yeah. nine people yeah. sit here. Um, is this for, for bachelor parties or is it rather for lovers this summer? Actually, Couples. both, but the, the most uh, we have this uh, pampering holiday package for the classic look for the couples, mm -hmm. and that includes this uh, three course menu dinner and then the South Eagle sauna, Sakuzi, and the other saunas. Mm -hmm. So Mostly this summer we have had couples here. Yes, yes, yes. But of course you can rent this for your group. Mm -hmm. and have that but Finns, when we are in the middle of the summer region, uh, uh, do Finns um, experience, learn something new when they come here? Or um, do they want to learn something new? Or is it rather international guests you have here on the summer train? Well, both. Actually, um, also Finnish people enjoy the summer train. Mm -hmm. The sauna is, is very it's a part of your normal day in Finnish people, but mm -hmm. sauna history and different kind of saunas, they are interesting to all people, mm -hmm. also to Finnish ones. Okay. But the international people go more to ice dipping and doing the snow and so than Finnish ones. <laughs> they, they think this is Finnish, maybe the ice, the angel, the snow angel. Yeah. Finnish uh, are like, that's cold, we're not going there. All the international people do that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so you have people from all over the world coming. Yeah. To hear it. So nowadays, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what we are very happy about because yeah. that's what we, we we wanted to do this all mm -hmm. people from all over the world can come and and have this part of this silence and, and clean water and mm -hmm. so you basically serve the locals uh with the golf and the bowling, yeah. but the international ones with, with the yeah. the nature. Yeah, yeah. Do you and you would offer also nature excursions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you come here you actually can do all. You, you can do the bowling and, and uh, billiard and, yeah. uh, and golf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a sport yeah. sport But if here. you if you don't want to you can just be in mm -hmm. in, in your own class igloo that don't have to see anyone or hear anything and just go to the national park and have yeah. a hike there. Mm -hmm. When we had had this corona time that the people had can see others open. So we have many people coming here just for the accommodation in the classic room and mm -hmm. taking 
had five trips to the nature and mm -hmm. and were taking food to the people in there mm -hmm. or they got it they have to, they don't have to come to the restaurant at all mm -hmm. so you can make your mm -hmm. choice. Now, now i was here second time today and it's both both times was a very relaxed friendly atmosphere it's like you become part of the family, basically. Mm -hmm. And of course, you run into the family because your family is all around here. Yeah. Uh, always a bit. You you live in the house yeah. there. The my back. mom and dad lives in the back, and I'm, I'm the second. In the <laughs> second one. <laughs> so there's never a day where you are off work, basically. So it's a lifestyle. It's right? a lifestyle, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you talked about uh, developments. So so your, your father has a lot of visions and ideas. And, uh, yeah. And you have to sort of calm him down, maybe? Yeah, uh, my, my father has been the visioner all the time. Mm -hmm. And now he's 75 years and he still has all those visions. I'm like, the best thing that we always thought of, it was like 15 years ago when we had the, done this big uh, ice fishing competition and all kinds of things that I was so tired of doing all those. And I, I woke up in the morning and my dad says in the morning coffee at the restaurant that, Tia, I have a million, million viewers idea. And I said, oh my God, coming mm -hmm. or are we get, getting million or paying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And my dad was looking at me, I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> what direction? But it's yeah. one million. <laughs> but he's been the visitor. He, mm -hmm. uh, I like that, but always I, I need to be the one who comes. Execute. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. and also that. Now he's dreaming about having this ice cream station with all the saunas and things. <laughs> Let's see what we'll get. Beside here where there is this long, long beach. And uh, yes, I can imagine when there is ice, there is uh, there is a hole and after the sauna. Yeah, you're and you should swing like 25 meters and then come up and all those piers beside the swimming area. Yeah. What was that the one million dollar idea? I'm, or? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't talk about money anymore, I just listen to the business and think. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah. <laughs> so, but he's still a, he's fixing everything every day. He's he's there. Yeah, you see him yeah, as a guest, yeah. you run into him. Yeah. yeah. It's important to have him because it's we are like mentors to each other here. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Then, then international guests, they come here and they have maybe expectations because they were, they just, the last visit was to Fort Ventura or to California. Okay. They have other expectations and uh, do they meet those expectations here? Yeah, like, uh, yeah. What kind of expectations do they have when they come to Finland and to central Finland? Yeah, uh, maybe they want to they they know about the nature mm -hmm. and the clean waters and, and saunas, but every time they come here from the big cities, like Singapore or New York or something, they are all the how come it's so silent? Mm -hmm. yes. The silence is like, that's, that's what they have an experience. Mm -hmm. Even people from Helsinki might say that. Yes. Because yes. We, we really have silence here. Yeah. And, and so the peaceful here and the calmness. Mm -hmm. That's what they like. That's that's what they they are surprised. That it's, it's really so mm -hmm. silent, mm -hmm. and you can really stop here and look at the nature and then listen to the nature, listen to the water and the birds, and you can hear them now. And you can drink the water from the lake. Yeah, it's clean. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that is what people tell each other here in, in the area, at least like they want to be on the <laughs> beach, you can actually yeah. drink. We don't actually drink it, but you could. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. And we, we take it for granted, it, it's clean water in the lakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we we broadcast this uh, and we we put that as uh, as a sh small little video on the media take on Scandinavian life. And this is mostly Germans to do you have German speaking guests or Swiss people who come here? Yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. You said that there's a group from. And we are having this. Yeah. Very soon coming. Yeah, there, yeah. Uh, we from now uh, Sunday coming a group. And you probably know exactly how to get them. Like uh, when they come here, uh, I can tell you that this is astonishing when you not only sitting in the sauna but looking at the. At the place and the beach and uh, the the beaches in the mirror of the windows, so so that's that's probably very easy catch. The Chinese. 
Well, we, we hope so, because we this is so normal for us. Yeah. So it's sometimes difficult to see the body is still, how important is it for other yeah. people. But yeah, well, we, we, we hope that they will enjoy it. Mm -hmm. They come and we have some dinner and then sauna nights here and mm -hmm. by the lake and then they can go and see mm -hmm. the other area. Mm -hmm. Yes, the there's like. buses because there's place up there where buses can stop. There's, yeah, yeah. Is there are campers? Can yeah, you? yeah, campers also. And it's, mm -hmm. this is so close to Yvaskula, it's only 30 minutes right to Yvaskula. So to the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the city, so, so mm -hmm. you can go and there's a lot of not to do and see at Yvaskula. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they could, might could, stay here yeah, and have, have a day trip to Yvaskula mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. come back in the evening or go then to stay here to go to the national parks and mm -hmm. do something. Then now the winter is coming. What are you doing in September, October? What are all activities right in front of you? Oh no, no, it's the best time for the fat bikes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was just bought some new because that, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. You can still try, try the water bikes, but it's a little bit cold. But the fat bikes is now, <laughs> and the, also, also those national parks where it's out. It's it's nice every. Mm -hmm every time of the year mm -hmm. and also golf is we will golf until the november golf is going until yeah november. until november yeah so you have gloves on then probably <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yes and uh november yes i don't know, remember there's not much light you, you have to yeah, be on yeah. the ground yeah that we, we start at 10 o'clock and that you have to come up <laughs> four o'clock. <laughs> yes. That's the time you see it, and then you have to have the headlights there. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, the, win the winter is is the summer the most busy one? Then mid of June to the mid of August, or is winter maybe, as strong? Yeah, summer is maybe the best, but it's not that that clear mm -hmm. because winter is also well, But we have this live music nights in the winter time. At summertime, we don't have them. Mm -hmm. At some time we have that they are the close close finis, uh, like a traditional finis, uh, hung on lava. They're going to dance this hango. Yeah. So so the so the at the summertime we have more golfers and mm -hmm. and and other customers. But yeah. during the winter time it's it's the dancing nights that that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. How many cottages are there in total? How many people could stay? Oh, we have uh, two, 250 all. beds in mm -hmm. total. Yes. And then we have uh, hotel rooms uh, in uh, another building for 37, and another building with 13 rooms, and another with three, uh, six rooms, and then 20 cottages. And the cottages are with uh, like six to eight persons mm -hmm. with their own sauna and kitchen and bedrooms. And then the 10 class igloos. Mm -hmm. So together about 250 beds. And then in, in those cottages, there is their own kitchen. Yeah, often. yeah. So those because... cottages are they are all year round. You have uh, two bedrooms and a living room with the fireplace and, and sauna and kitchen. Mm -hmm. Because if they would all come to the breakfast table, um, there would be a lot of eggs in the morning. Yeah. But some of them want to have their own yes. own breakfast at there. Yes. Is there something to add for Revontuli? I mean, the the word Revontuli, every Finn knows it, and that Hankasan is a place like the region knows it, but people from Helsinki probably like the idea of that. That's cool. I have I have a, a lot of visit, um, mm -hmm. uh, only three hours north from, from my home. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is, this is easy, easy way to have northern lights because it, when you have to have the plane and then the bus and so on, so you have one more day for your vacation. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. We will have information about Revontuli um, with the um, on YouTube uh, down there in the description and the link to it. Um, yeah, for questions we will add probably uh, your email address if yeah, you may, yeah. um, and Tia will answer that in Japanese, uh, English, and okay. German as well. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and we will um, we will have more information around uh, the Central Finland. Um, region and then Yvaskula, which is so close here. Yeah. Um, all, all the way. So thank you very much. Um, now you. we heat up the sound or yeah. what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> and go swimming. <laughs> and go swimming and do what you do here in the summer trip. 
thank you very much thank you. For, the, for the talk. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.